well good morning so good morning discuss uh, the new topic today so today we are going to discuss uh, about uh, software as service overview of uh, software as service we will discuss so already we are uh, uh, using the software as service for us uh, because whenever uh, we think about the cloud computing the two things which comes to our mind mainly is about uh, using the software as well as uh, for storage so software we are frequently using because uh, online softwares are available for us uh, what we generally do we are generally using the softwares like for example if you go to google docs uh, it is providing us uh, um, the software which is uh, uh, which can be used for preparing your documents your spreadsheets your presentations then if you go to the mail uh, mail um, already it is available you are simply logging into your account through your browser and then uh, you are using your mail so main software as service uh, is actually the term which is used where the application is hosted by a remote server and it is accessed through an internet means here the software is some 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 x system is actually hosted uh, some server is hosting your application uh, which is installed there and you are simply using it via internet then now you can apply it with your uh, with the examples just i have discussed if you go to email so it is you are not installing on your uh, uh, desktop simply what you are doing you just log in in you are opening a browser uh, you are simply opening the browser then after uh, opening the browser you are simply uh, logging giving your login credentials then you are accessing your mails like I, as i just said that uh, uh, you are uh, using the google docs and you are using likewise some online games are also there where you are or you are not installing them on your system but simply you are going and you are using them so this is all comes under means all the applications the uh, the, pro, the things which i have just discussed will come under the software as a service here. okay so the next uh, here is uh, the software as service uh, uh, can uh, have the simple example here is uh, means again pictorially it is shown here that all my online mail server is placed in one one uh, machine and simply you are accessing it okay but uh, uh, the same architecture can be applied to any other uh, um, applications means whatever the type of applications which are using online that can be comes under the software as a service not just emails not just games but any application you are not installing it and you are using it via internet then it comes under the software as service this software as service can be divided into two broader categories one is the line of business and the customer oriented services so if we talk about the line of business here this business solutions are offered to the companies and enterprises means the companies and the enterprises are going to use this business solutions and they come via subscription what they are going to do here is they are going to pay some subscription for this and as per the subscription which is given means the paid uh, amount uh, the service is uh, actually given to them so you have the supply chain management applications you have the customer relationship management applications and other similar applications which are available online what you are going to do here is you are just go, going to subscribe with them and then you can start using them and you have the customer oriented services also means these are uh, 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 applicable to the customers the general public so it is not uh, for any enterprise or a company they are meant for general public like we are using here so here mostly the services are offered uh, free of cost uh, and uh, 
uh, they are supported by the advertising uh, they are supported by the advertising and um, any general public can access them or sometimes uh, we pay very little uh, a lesser amount uh, to use them so examples of this using the uh, our uh, uh, mail services or online games or consumer banking and some other uh, any other type of application so now nowadays see here you're just using uh, those applications you are simply installing an app on your uh, mobile and then after installation of that uh, small app uh, you are simply using them means online you are accessing like your bank accounts you are accessing via online uh, online then uh, 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 you are playing games then uh, you are accessing any other applications means the data will be stored on the cloud and then you are simply accessing them so what are the advantages of uh, using these uh, essays means the software as services here there is a faster time to value and improve productivity when compared to the long term implementation cycles and failure rate of enterprise software means here it is a, there is a faster time to value means a, faster uh, uh, means there is an uh, less in less time you will have a pro uh, high productivity you have an improved productivity compared to the other implementation cycles where there will be a failure rate of enterprise software means if you are by developing the software by yourself you are maintaining it at your place uh, then there is a chances that the, the software may fail or sometimes uh, it may take some time for implementation this all now this all things have been avoided and also we have the very low software licensing cost we will talk about it later on that we will have a low software licensing cost because you need not pay a huge cost for licensing you can directly use them and also software as service offerings have features the biggest cost saving of installed software by eliminating the need for an enterprise to install and maintain the hardware uh pay labor cost and maintain the application so this is another very biggest advantage so what it says here is uh, the cost saying here you need not buy the software first thing here is you are not buying the software so uh, uh, you, when you are not buying the software means if suppose if you want to use the software you need to buy the hardware also if you have want to buy the hardware you need to maintain it you need to have a room you need to have some other necessities like tables you need to have ac uh, uh, after that you need to buy the software then you need to have to install it and for looking after all these things uh, there should be some person then there, there will be an overhead of labor cost on the company okay now all these things have been avoided so how they have been avoided no need of uh, buying the software no need of uh, uh, buying the hardware no means when there is no hardware and software you are not uh, uh, installing them Uh, any specific servers what you can do here is you can take the simple machines and then you can uh, uh, start uh, using them you, you can simply start uh, uh, using them which are available via online okay now here uh then you need not install them that's what i'm saying then then also it is used uh, to avoid the custom development cycles to get application to quickly uh, means to the organization quickly means uh, it avoids the custom development cycles also because uh, all these are been available by the vendor and you can simply use them and uh, the security audits also so vendor when he is providing you all these services he is very strict in uh, uh, providing the security also because uh, as we have discussed the reputation of the vendors is also very important so because of that uh, uh, what the vendors will do is they will be having very high meticulous security audits also and the next point here is uh, the software vendors have the capabilities to let the customer comply with uh, the standards this is appliance so oxley some standards so uh, some such standards generally have been followed so 
all the same security standards like we have an isi we have uh, the iso some uh, standards so those standards are also followed by the software vendors when they are providing here so all these uh, standards have been uh, generally um, used here or belongs to us then here the software as vendor allows the companies to have the most current version now this is another very interesting feature because uh, as the software is maintained by the vendor so he will be uh, um, um, updating the software the, the current means he will make you available the current versions of the software as possible this allows organization to spend their development dollars on the new innovation in their industries rather than supporting older version of the application so because of this when the new software is available to you what the uh, organization can do here is they can spend their money on de um, developing the new innovations rather than supporting the older versions of applications then if you talk about the software considerations here using existing software means uh, the problem with uh, the existing uh, regular paradigm here is uh, where you will buy the software uh, you need to have uh, means for, for for instance for example uh, if you are buying some software then you need to pay for that software you need to pay for its licensing and once the license expires what you have to do you have to regularly uh, 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 regularly pay for it uh, you need to upgrade it you need to upgrade it okay and uh, the updates are be provided to you uh, this is a can be costly for installing the new applications on hundreds or thousands of computers so if it is a single computer no problem but uh, if it is hundreds of computers then you have to buy a lot of uh, 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 copies of the software then you have to install them on, on hundreds of machines and then you need to update them uh, regularly and after the expir i mean if the license expires then again you have to uh, renew the licensing all this headache all this overhead will be on an organization but on the other hand uh, the sas has no licensing no licensing in the sense uh, because you are not going to buy the software you are just going to subscribe with your uh, vendor the ss vendor uh, simply using the software which is already available which is uh, actually already installed on the server you are just accessing it via either a small app or whether via a browser and simply you are going to use them and making it updated the software updates uh, licensing headaches these all things are being taken care by your vendor and now your vendor means you need not worry about all these things okay then what vendors are having advantages so how the vendors uh, are uh, will uh, how the vendors are having the advantages here the vendor in the sense uh, uh, the vendors the advantages flow in both the ways means what the vendor is finding they have a financial benefit here financial benefit in the, in the sense that the vendors can get a, a constant stream of income often what is more than the traditional software licensing setup because uh, day by day the more and more subscribers will come uh, actually when they want to provide the uh, hardware uh, uh, provide this software online what they will do is they will uh, actually uh, buy uh, they, they will buy a lot of uh, um, physical space then the hardware the technology staff and process development the more these resources means the more and more people are going to use them the more and more they can have the margin so a lot of people if they are started using them they will have a more and more income okay uh then oh, like uh, uh, we are just talking about all the advantages here but there are some limitations also when you are supposed to use the sas what type of limitations we generally have so technical means there are some technical obstacles to the sas have been included an effective multi tenant architecture multi tenant architecture in the sense uh, the software copy a single instance of software runs on a server and several multiple users 
share the common access so multi tenancy in the sense uh, one copy of the software is installed and multiple people are going to access it so when multiple people are going to access it when thousands of uh, uh, customers are accessing it uh, then they need to provide a multi tenant architecture so another problem with the software companies are being asked uh, to become service companies so generally the software companies now are been asked for a service company which they don't like actually so because they want to develop they want to do, uh, develop the software they want to uh, sell the software they, they have the licensing in their mindset okay but now what the people are doing they are asking for the customer service means they uh, we are asking for them to install the software on their own machines and then to pro provide them so entire business scenario has been changes here and for the business model that is built on selling licensed software does not easily transform into subscription model very cleanly means if suppose in some business model is actually built up for licensing mode so they that cannot be uh, changed into subscription model very cleanly and also another challenge uh, now means the faced by the customer here is a uh, the customer uh, uh, cannot have a proper software which is available for him to use because uh, not all the um, not all uh, the customers can means uh, the vendor cannot fulfill uh, all the customers in the same way because there are some applications which requires a special treatment for the customers because for customer to customer they are going to change for example for in the case of business intelligence it is tough to translate the traditional ss approach because uh, the data schemas schemes and transactions are usually very complex and the customer configuration requirements vary from customer to customer so if you are going for business intelligence so here they, they may vary from the customer the configuration requirements may be different and they may vary from customer to customer in such cases uh, it is difficult and some application requires intensive processing so it is not attractive for the vendor to provide bundle needed for this high cpu infrastructure and also the bandwidth cost and the network performance for the transfer of uh, business intelligence data uh, it is very expensive uh, it is expensive very fast but ss providers become more sophisticated in the customization of their offerings okay so for, for customization also it is uh, sometimes uh, it is uh, difficult because the customized solutions uh, uh, offering customized solution to the uh, individual customers may also be a problem but uh, uh, sas has become more and more popular popularity day by day it is uh, actually uh, becoming more and more popular why it has been more popular why it has been uh, uh, been used why it has become a hot cake under cloud computing so because there are number of factors are there uh, which has driven the forces uh, for uh, making this ss more and more popular what popularity it has gained how it has been gained here so because uh, the software vendors are more interested they love it because uh, uh, many big companies many big companies like sap and oracle have joined the ranks of ss developers because uh, not only the smaller companies the big giant companies like oracle sap microsoft all these have been the names which have been joined and they are actually uh, now offering 100 uh, sas applications apart from the hundreds of smaller developers stacking out to sas and enterprises also love it so any enterprise will also love the sas why because just now we have discussed what the the the, the, the uh, advantage of this ss is uh, you need not install uh, there is no uh, necessity of installing the software okay simply what you can do uh, already installed software is there which is uh, placed on some uh, on some remote machine and you just start using it okay so the ss can be deployed both internally and externally means it can be deployed both internally and externally there internally in external in the use is especially appearing to the it professionals because externally because uh, the burden fr uh, from uh, burden has been reduced because uh, the uh, it has been taken off their shoulders they are now able to focus more on their work 
which would be the hope to generate a competitive advantage in their marketplace because now they they need not uh, maintaining the server they are not responding to the server failures they are not installing they are not uh, less bothered about the licensing the updates all this has been taken care by the vendor or now they are simply concentrating on focus on their work here and that is the said that the it professionals might enjoy developing their own ss applications to be used internally means the ss applications are also been uh, developed by uh, the it professionals internally also if they are able to offload their work to the cloud it gives them the opportunity to focus on creating their own complementary internal ss tools there so once uh, means again some work some burden has been transformed to a cloud here yeah, they can develop their own inter, uh, internal complementary tools okay then again plenty of ss platforms so, so there are number of uh, platforms which are uh, available for us and day by day they have been uh, 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 in, increasing like oracle is developed its own ss platform microsoft is having its own ss uh, platform and more and more as the, uh, it has become more and more popular more vendors are going to be forced to make their platforms ss friendly for ss based applications and also another reason for ss platforms to continue to grow is because the interest in green it green it uh, and the efforts to move towards the virtualization infrastructure so virtualization infrastructure in the sense here see uh, virtualization we will have a oh, much more clear discussion about the virtualization in the coming chapters also uh, why uh, people are going for the green it because uh, green it in the sense here le- this hardware the whatever hardware is available on that single hardware multiple machines can be installed when multiple uh, machines uh, virtual machines have been installed then the number of actual hardware physical machines which are required will be uh, decreased so one machine may be uh, uh, offering one machine may be handling multiple number of uh, more number of uh, more number of machines uh, of virtual machines on that okay so the, this reduce the number of uh, servers that are to, uh, supposed to be installed uh, supposed to be maintained so what are the benefits of virtualization as i just uh, said that it makes it move the ss system virtualization make it easy to move to an ss system one of the main reasons it is that it is independent for uh, it is easier for isps the independent software vendors to adopt ss is the growth of virtualization the growing popularity of some of the ss vendors using amazon's ec2 okay uh, electronic it means elastic uh, compute cloud platform and the overall popularity of virtualization that helps to, to develop an ss application means here when you are going for a virtualization as i just said uh, for example you want to maintain four servers so four servers in the sense four different machines four different machines in the sense uh, four different connections on all these thing, these things have been maintained but whereas in case of, means four different applications four different machines etc but whereas in case of virtualization on a single machine what you can do here is you can install four different servers virtual servers and you can maintain it on a one system so that is the advantage of virtualization and also the service oriented architecture is one of the it supports that business process that cover the current emerging requirements means service oriented architecture means as per the service required they are going to provide uh, means as as required they are going to provide the service this uh, 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 service oriented includes the electronic data and Uh, interchange to online auctions also means you can have the online auctions means uh, the uh, the service oriented architecture includes the edi edi we have discussed in uh, our web technologies the electronic form of uh, transferring the data the edi electronic data interchange where in a standard form the data will be interchanged from one machine to another machine so by uh, because by updating this uh, uh, older technologies what uh, the companies can do here they can make their it systems available to internal and external customers so the the, the systems have been uh, available to the both the internal as well as uh, external customers and this soa the system orient service oriented architecture business processes by structuring large application as a collection of smaller modules known as services means when there are what the soa is doing here is the service oriented architecture large application is now uh, made as a collection of smaller modules 
and SOA present the design framework for realizing a rapid and low cost development and improving total system quality. Okay. Then, the, what is the economic impact? As an economic impact here, uh, we can say that uh, the ability to quickly and easily turn on the new applications with significant lower initial cost of ownership makes SAS attractive offerings for small and mid-sized businesses, significantly expanding the market of software applications. Means, as I just said now, because no need of buying, economic impact in the sense, no need of buying a, a, a larger, a large amount of hardware and system. Okay, so uh, you can have a smaller uh, system, way, uh, means you can have a system where a lot of applications are, can be installed and they can be used. Uh, these are uh, having uh, an attractive offering for both the smaller and mid-sized business. Means any small size business and mid-sized business can also uh, use it. Means either a smaller, smaller uh, companies can also use it because of that it is more interesting for us it has become more and more popular okay so next is about the various company offerings we have what type of company offerings means uh, uh, one by one what the intuit is offering then we have uh, what google is offering all these things have been discussed in the uh, later portion which i will cover in the next class okay any doubts? No, sir. No, sir. Okay, then take care. We'll meet okay. in the next class. Okay, okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.